moving on to lighter news, James turned six this week, and if you've been following my channel for a long time, then you know that James is my first baby. I had James, and then Joe, and then Lily in 2012, 2014, and 2016, and this baby's weird, because he's coming in 2019, and that's that totally throws me off. I have like this like mathematical brain, and when stuff like that happens, it's just like, why is this ha this is not right, this doesn't follow the pattern. Anyways, yeah, if you guys have been following my YouTube channel since I was pregnant with James, that was now six years and nine months ago that I found out I was pregnant with James, and it just blows my mind. It's so crazy. He's like a real live actual like human person now like you can sit down and have conversations with him and he's like there like growing teeth and losing teeth and telling you things that you don't know where he got them from because you didn't teach them to him but that's him he's like his own person in the world like learning things i don't know it's just it's so so weird having an old kid yeah i just i think it's so funny because like i got so many messages from people this week that were like oh i've been watching you since you were pregnant with james and so that was almost seven years ago now <laughs> So if you've been here for seven years, hi. So aside from all of the the sad stuff about pregnancy, I've had one physical symptom going on this week that has really been ticking me off. And it's something that happened during my pregnancy with Lily. But if you remember, my right leg started getting like super, super veiny. And then my right foot felt numb all the time. Well, it's happened again. And so I was standing in the kitchen yesterday on my, you know, like dirty kitchen mat that's in front of the sink and the stove. And I'd been cooking and cooking and my foot was like, so incredibly numb and I looked down and the difference between my right and left foot it's like night and day my right foot was like super super veiny and it's like bright red and it's probably like a shoe size larger than my left foot and then if you move up and you look up my leg there's like all of these like sticking out bulgy veins in my legs with like what looks like little knots sticking out of them it's like really not pretty but beyond being ugly it makes my foot feel numb and when you have a numb foot all day it starts to make your foot hurt it doesn't hurt like someone stabbing me in the foot it's literally like i'll be standing there and then there's so little blood flow to my right foot that like it starts to feel numb and then after a while of feeling numb i just get this like dull ache on the top of my foot between like my toes and then maybe like two inches up from my toes it sucks and it's like every I want to say if I stand in like one spot like cooking or doing dishes or doing something with the kids for more than like half an hour, it starts to really hurt like that. And then in order to make it feel better, I have to lie down. But usually once I've been standing in one spot for too long at any point in the day, it kind of just comes on and off and feels like that for the rest of the day. So that's been my only like new pregnancy symptom. And it's funny because like my body's basically been building up to this, which is what I find so weird is like, in my other pregnancies, all these symptoms came later, but as you guys know, in this pregnancy, I've had really, really veiny feet since before the pregnancy because I had it since my last pregnancy, but then like it just got worse and worse and worse. And then I think in my last week's video, I talked to you guys about how I had those new little like knots of veins in my right leg. And then this week, it's all just like 10 times worse. And now I have that crazy pain again. So when you have something that's like, painful in a way that like you can't get it off of your mind when you're doing things and especially when there are things that you like frequently do it's really really hard to just put that pain out of your head so yeah that's kind of been my only physical symptom this week hmm? oh chesteru come oh my goodness you're gonna fall down the stairs you look like a sausage i made his jacket I was looking at dog jackets online and for like a good winter dog jacket, it was like $80 and I was like, I am not paying that. I went to the thrift store and I bought a size 5T children's winter coat, which it seems belonged to a child named Jackson F in the past. But basically all that I did was like shorten the sleeves and I put clips on them so that they could be clipped around his arms and made smaller. And then I took the whole front zipper off and I sewed on these buttons so that it can be buttoned around him. And this has nothing to do with pregnancy, but I was really proud of myself for making my dog a jacket in the end for $5.99. <laughs> yeah, so the last thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about is 
fat because I did mention earlier on in the video that like when my bloat went away all of a sudden all I was left with is like the fat that I've put on since the beginning of the pregnancy when you're a really really slim person naturally and you start to get any amount of fat on your body it is extremely noticeable to you really fast but I found that it's not acceptable for you to say that you have any fat on your body because society in general says oh well you're skinnier than most people so just don't even talk about it which I don't think is fair because like to me my body has changed a whole lot in the last six weeks and if people want to talk about me and judge me for it then I don't know what to say but here we go the first thing I notice when I look in the mirror and I say like oh my body is changing a lot and I'm getting kind of like totally different from pre-pregnancy is this skin here and this is something that happens like as I gain some weight it's funny it looks like just skin but it's got something to do with fat. It's got something to do with gaining weight because when I'm like super skinny, I don't have this. I don't know. It's like this extra little shelf of flab that grows underneath my tiny little boobies that are growing. So there's that. And then the next thing is this, my baby bump. So my uterus right now, it's actually here. And so, and it's weird, it's so tall. Like it shouldn't, I don't think it's supposed to come up from like above here until around 12 weeks, which puts it at like a little too high. And I felt kind of awkward about that this week when I felt it. But anyways, so there's the top of my uterus and everything that's like on top of that is not a baby bump because the baby's down here. It's just the fat that I've put on for the pregnancy. I want to show you guys now, it's not all a bump. When I was nice and bloated, it was just like one nice little curve. And now you can literally see the fat on my body. So anyways, yeah, there's my, I guess like what we would consider a baby bump, but really it's just made up of like this pouch of flesh here and this pouch of flesh here. I just, I don't know, I've just gotten a little thicker all around and this is something that like happens during pregnancy. Now I'm making myself all red, oh my gosh! I don't say any of this because like I want to complain about my body. I love my body. I am very in awe of what it's doing. I'm very amazed that it can like grow a person and stuff like that. I also realize that like this is 100% necessary and without having any fat on your body, it is going to be really, really hard to sustain a pregnancy because obviously you store the fat in case you need energy in the future and stuff like that. It's just my body has changed so, so much to me and it's so different to me. And I think it's important that like people who are naturally slim still get to express how they feel about their body and like the changes about their body without being told that their changes don't matter because their body hasn't changed enough. And so, um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that today. And I guess that that is the last thing that I wanted to talk about as well as it's getting dark because I've literally been sitting here forever. So I will talk to you guys soon and I will, I mean, I will definitely talk to you guys when I go in for my ultrasound on Saturday. So I guess I will see you then. Bye. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear James. Happy birthday to you. Oh, sick. Stop it. Georgie, hurry. Yay! Yay.